Hi, welcome to Boardshop, uh, boardshop.co.uk. It's board review time, and today we're looking at a new board from uh, Channel Islands. It is the Fish. Simply named, simple board, but what does what it does really, really well. So there's loads of fishes out there, retro fish, the new um, Firewire Seaside and what have you. And this Channel Islands fish is a blend of kind of retro styling, but fine-tuned for performance. So it'll go in anything from knee to kind of head high, loves an open face point break, but will also generate a lot of speed in weak, summer, kind of mushy surf. So if you don't want a long board, but you want a board that you can get going really quick, really accelerating, get around those sections, nice glidey turns, but it's still got the ethos of the fish, the rail to rail speed development, and the flow and the glide, then this is a really good option. Let's have a little spin around the bad boy. <coughs> so as you'd expect, pretty, pretty flat through the tail, nice and chunky, good bit of volume under your back foot, so you can work it hard and get it turning. Volume under the chest for paddling in and generating that speed, and then just enough nose lift at the end so that you're not gonna catch um, on slightly steeper sections or faster sections of the wave. So it's got all the DNA of a, of a fish that you'd expect, as I said, with the flow and the speed and what have you. Um, <coughs> they fine-tuned it. It's fairly generously volumed. Um, the 510 carries just over 35 litres. And they have also designed a fin in conjunction with Futures to work specifically with this board. They've named it the Almeric Twin. Good name. Um, <coughs> It's designed to work with the lines of the board, with the rail line, how the fins are positioned. So if you are going to invest in this board, then you're going to ride it with a keel set of 20s like this, and the CI ones are a good option, obviously. Now, um, the fish comes in this beautiful mid-blue finish, as well as white, in the PU construction. But they've also produced it in the spine tech construction, which has been a huge, huge success, this construction. Um, reason being, as you've seen probably with Carbon Wrap and various other uh, epoxy carbony type constructions, what the, the Spine Tech does is give the board a lot more zing. It makes the board feel more responsive. And it does this. This black line through here is actually a composite spine laid into the board. Um, what it does is it evens out the flex of the board and makes the flex very, very even, and it makes the board rebound very quickly. So as you push into a turn, it pushes back against you and you ping out through the turn. It's why these epoxy type boards, Spine Tech in particular, feel so zingy. Now, what does it actually mean for your surfing? Well, it means the board is a little bit lighter, it's a little bit tougher, but it will keep that new board kind of feel and that zinginess indefinitely. That's what epoxy does for you. And in this specific spine tech construction from CI, that responsiveness, the way the board loads up and then pings back is really, really effective. It's been incredibly successful in the fish, the rocket wide, the OG flyer and the fever, and undoubtedly they'll spread it through their whole board range. Um, so if you are thinking about a CI board, any in particular, or the fish in, in specifically, then the Spine Tech is a really, really good option because in weak waves, what you need is more responsiveness, more zing, uh, more speed generation more quickly, and that's certainly what Spine Tech gives you. So it makes you, allows you to make the most of poorer conditions or on that Rincon style point break, which you've no doubt got around the corner from your house, um, the board will perform fantastically well. So. Um, the CI Fish from Brit Merrick and Al Merrick, whatever, um, in the two constructions, PU and the Spine Tech, for a bit of summer fun, neater, um, head high, maybe a little bit bigger. If you're a lower level surfer, go bigger. If you are a normal um, sort of intermediate surfer or above, then stick with your normal volume. You're going to maybe have to carry a litre or two more just for wave catching and because in the shorter template it's not going to hold your surfing back at all. But it's a real good sun, uh, summer fun option. I'll try saying that quickly. Um, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can customise these bad boys in PU or Spine Tech. Uh, you can trade in old boards against them and you can buy them on 0% finance. If you have any questions, you know where we are. Cheers.